OK, differentiation using first principles. Now, the key to success here is really to simply replace the... Uh, to rewrite the original function, um, except with uh, except just the x there, we're going to replace it with x plus h. And then we're going to subtract the original function from what we've just written. And we're going to place it all over h. So, really, that's going to look like this. We're going to replace the... I'm going to put it in um, square brackets... Uh, we're going to replace that x with x plus h. Close brackets, minus 6. So that's our modified function, if you like. And then we just subtract the original function. So in other words, uh, 3x minus 6. And it's all over h. OK? So what does that equal? Well, it equals the limit as h goes to 0. Um, Tidying up the uh, inside the square brackets, we get uh, 3, and expanding, 3x plus 3h minus 6, and let's get rid of the second uh, pair of rounded brackets, minus 3x plus 6, okay? All over h. Okay, what does that equal? Well, it equals the limit as h goes to 0. Um, what do we notice? Well, the three x's are going to cancel out, aren't they? There's a three x there and a three x there, um, there and there. And what else? Um, the sixes are going to knock each other out. Negative six and positive six there. So we just end up with three h over h. Okay. So <coughs> what you'll notice there is that um, the h's will cancel out now. So we can apply the limit. We can say that. Um, but before we do, we'll just say equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 3. Now, there is no h to substitute uh, 0 into. So, um, really, the limit is just 3. So, we say um, f dash x is equal to 3. OK, this one's going to get quite messy, um, as you're going to see. But the secret to it, its success, again, is to... Uh, replace the x with x plus h uh, initially and then subtract the original function from the result of replacing the x with x plus h. Okay, in other words, it's going to look like this. I'm going to use square brackets 3 x plus h all squared minus 2 replacing the x with x plus h plus 1 that did say plus 1 there. Uh, close your square brackets and subtract the original function. We're going to put that in brackets actually. 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Like so. All over h. OK. Equals limit as I'm trying to... I've got to keep this small so I can try to uh, fit all this in. So we've got 3, bracket, OK, we're expanding a perfect square here. So it's 3, the first term squared, uh, plus twice the product of the inside terms, plus the last term squared, OK, like that. We've got to close our brackets, minus, let's get rid of the brackets here, 2x minus 2h plus 1, minus, we can get rid of all the brackets, 3x squared, plus 2x, minus 1. OK, we've got a negative sign out there, so that's going to replace the, reverse the sign of each term inside these brackets. All that gets placed over h. OK, now what have we got? Well, we've got equals the limit as h goes to 0. Uh, 3x squared plus 6xh. Uh, plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 1 minus 3x squared plus 2x uh, minus 1 all over h. Alright, now what we should be able to do is eliminate a few terms. Um, so equals lim h goes to 0. What have we got? Certainly the um, 
the uh, 3x squared will get knocked out by that 3x squared so it goes out. Uh, in fact let's do it like that. Uh, what else can we get rid of? There's a plus 1 there and a negative 1 there. Um, I notice there's a plus 2x there and a minus 2x there. Now, so that means we can rewrite our limit as 6, oops, 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h. And I think that's it, is it? Yeah. All over h. Now what you should notice is that you can factorise the numerator in terms of uh, h. And uh, so we get this. That equals the limit as h goes to 0. I'm loving all this room we've suddenly got. h is what we're going to factorise. 6x plus 3h minus 2 all over h. And you'll see that what happens is that the h is now cancel each other out there. So uh, let's just rewrite our limit. As h goes to 0, it comes to 6x plus 3h minus 2. And now what we do is we apply the limit. So that is we let h not just approach 0 but equal 0. Let's just notice or note that that's what we're going to do. We're going to apply the limit. So apply limit and uh, that tells the reader that we are going to state what the derivative is. We're going to substitute 0 for h so that leaves 6x minus 2 and that is how you differentiate via first principles.